I'm Neil and I'm a forensic pathologist. A forensic pathologist is a person who has trained as a doctor, then gone through pathology, then into forensic pathology, and trained to examine dead people to find out why they've died, and also to work for the coroner specifically for suspicious cases um, where special investigation is required uh, for the purposes of the police or the justice system. I mean, I don't tend to watch the shows on TV, but I think they pretty much go on the same line. A suspicious death, murder um, has to be investigated and people get into danger and... Yeah. Uh, most of the time I work in a mortuary, which is on the ground floor, and I don't tend to get out very much, and most of what we do are sudden natural deaths. Um, here we do round about 1,200 autopsies per year and about 20 to 30 of those will be what we call suspicious death, a homicide or a murder. Most of the time my job will be to investigate why someone's been found dead in bed at home when they've been previously well. The minority of the work is the exciting stuff that you associate um, with the TV shows. To be quite honest, it can get you, and I know colleagues who have been affected, but on the whole, um, yeah, the good bits get you through. <laughs> we are doctors, so we have a doctor-patient relationship, even though it's a dead person, so there's confidentiality. One of the big binds of ethics we have is what we perform is technically up to us. But of course, we're then doing that on someone who has no say in what we're doing. So we have to be extremely respectful of this person. It would be so easy to take advantage of a dead person and we have to make sure that that does not occur. We have to be their guardians. And one of the things we are very strict on is that really bodies that come out of the mortuary into the process um, really should look at least as good and possibly if not better than before we started. I mean the aim is really so that no one would know what's happened. And of course this is the thing I haven't told you. Um, there's only about 40 to 50 of us in Australia and there's not very many of us in the whole world. Um, it's a sort of niche job because you only need a limited number of us to do it. Forensic pathology is something where you take things apart and you don't have to put them back together again. So this is ideally suited for someone who loves to take things apart to find out how they worked. Or in this case, of course, to find out why they stopped working. So yeah, I think that sort of suits me, really. Yeah.